We studied three types of field effect transistors in the previous chapter. The first one was junction field effect transistor, junction field effect transistor. The second one was enhancement type MOSFET, enhancement type MOSFET. And the third one, the last one was depletion type MOSFET, depletion type MOSFET. And in this chapter, we will perform the DC analysis, the DC analysis of these three devices. But before actually performing the DC analysis, we will first try to understand few important points related to FET biasing. And in this process, I will first compare the DC analysis of BJT and the DC analysis of FETs. In case of BJT, in case of BJT, while performing the DC analysis, the collector current IC was equal to beta times IB where IC is the output current and IB is the input current beta is constant beta is constant it is the amplification factor and if you remember the collector current was nearly equal to the emitter current IE and the input voltage VBE in case of silicon transistor was equal to 0.7 volt now if i ask you what type of relationship is there between current ic and current ib you must say linear the relationship between current ic and ib is linear because beta is constant as beta is constant if you increase current ib two levels current ic will also increase by two levels and under this scenario Mathematical approach is easy to use. So what is mathematical approach? What is mathematical approach? We will first try to understand. To find out the operating point, to find out the operating point or QSN point, we have two approaches, out of which the first approach is the mathematical approach and the second approach is graphical approach. The second approach is the graphical approach and when the relationship is linear when the relationship is linear it is good to use the mathematical approach and when the relationship is non-linear non-linear like in case of FETs it is good to use graphical approach but we can use mathematical approach also the only thing is that mathematical approach is little bit complicated in case of non-linear relationship. Now let's talk about FETs. Let's talk about field effect transistors. In case of field effect transistors, the relationship between the input and output quantities are non-linear due to the squared term. This is very important point. In case of FETs, if you see the relationship between the input quantity the input quantity means the voltage VGS the input voltage VGS and the output quantity is the drain current ID which is the function of VGS and if you see the relationship between drain current ID and voltage VGS you will find the relationship is non-linear because there is a squared term in the equation and because of this reason, mathematical approach will be complicated to use, but we can definitely use the graphical approach in place of mathematical approach. Now let us try to write down the equation of drain current in all the three cases, in case of JFET, depletion type MOSFET and enhancement type MOSFET. If this is my FET, this box is my field effect transistor, then it will have three terminals this is the first terminal which is the drain terminal this is the second terminal which is the source terminal and the third terminal is the gate terminal the current in this branch is the gate current ig current in this branch is the drain current id this current and current in this branch is the source current is the input voltage is VGS which is the controlling voltage the output voltage is VDS VDS 
drain to source voltage is the output voltage and there are few important points related to FET. The first important point is about the gate current IG. The gate current IG is always equal or we can say nearly equal to 0 amp. The gate current is nearly equal to 0 amp because of high input impedance due to high input impedance. The next point is for drain current ID and source current IS. The drain current ID is always equal to the source current IS. This is the next point. Now we will write down the equation of drain current for JFET for JFET and depletion type MOSFET because equation is same in case of JFET and depletion type MOSFET. The drain current ID is equal to IDSS which is the saturated drain current inside the bracket 1 minus VGS the controlling voltage divided by VP the pinch of voltage whole square. So this is the equation of drain current for JFET and for depletion type MOSFET. In case of enhancement type MOSFET, in case of enhancement type MOSFET, the equation is different. ID is equal to constant K inside the bracket voltage VGS minus VT. VT is the threshold voltage whole square. And in both the equations, you can clearly see, you can clearly see the squared term and because of this squared term, the relationship between ID and VGS, ID and VGS is non-linear. So this is the reason and this equation here, this equation is the Shockley's equation, Shockley's equation. Now there is one question. The question is why we are performing the DC analysis? As I already told you, we are performing the DC analysis to find out the Q point or the quiescent point. We call this point operating point and this point is having the coordinates VGS Q and IDQ. We are representing the gate to source voltage as VGS Q because this Q represents the Q point and the drain current ID as IDQ because this Q represents the quiescent or Q point. So our main aim is to find out VGSQ and IDQ for different biasing schemes. So this is all for this lecture. In the next lecture I will explain fixed bias configuration of JFET.